88 Shay 45 is the weekend work. Bad boys at radio. Love the narrow. Coach is doing what he do, putting some plays together. I'm in here. Got a special guest in the building all the way from the West Coast. AZ chiking this motherfucker, man. What's AZ, up? what's up with you, man? Man, I'm good. I'm happy to be how here. How you feel? How, how you feel being on the East right now? Man, I'm loving it. It's my third time here, and shit, it get better every time. I ain't gonna lie to you. I right, see you got a project that, that just dropped. Yes, sir. Rich and Ratchet. Rich and Ratchet. How did you Rich come about that name? Uh, just the current lifestyle. Cause, hold on, because that name sounds rich and ratchet. You can't, yeah. you got d- double laws that we're going to get right to it. Right to it. I, I just said that too. No cuts. We got to get straight to it. Uh, it, it just, I, I, right after I got signed, it was just like, you know, I didn't want to like be on no old shit or nothing like that. Yeah. So I just wanted to do everything. You want to do something a little different. And it what, was just like, like what's going on right now. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's going on right now. A whole lot of rich speaking shit, a whole lot of, of ratchet speak, shit. Speaking of the rich and ratchet shit, yes, you want that surf record. And that's real rich and ratchet right there. You know what? We're going to play the surf record. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get into the uh, uh, single you pushing. Introduce your single you pushing. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Mm Hmm, produced by Yike Mike and Chill Out More. All right. Weekend work. 88, Shade 45 is the weekend work, Saturday morning, we up. What you over there drinking? You got some coffee over there yeah, with you? Yeah, I got some regular coffee, man. I'm just... Trying to stay up? Nah, nah, I was actually... I had the munchies, so I was just like, nigga, need to drink, eat something. I had some pretzels and some coffee. Weird combination, but it's going up right now. All right, we just we just played the record that, you know what I'm saying, that you pushing right now. Yes, sir. And um, how did how the whole... Uh, I want to talk about the surf record, because I've been playing that record okay. for a little while now. How did you end up on that record? Uh, How did that whole collab come about? Um, my boy, uh, Lil, he used to play football with Christian Brother, and he, like, linked us up and shit. I just went in the, to the Bad Boy Studio in Hollywood out there. I did one track at first, and Surf came about, I was going back to fix the track, because they wanted me to change something out mm-hmm. of the shit. It was just something going on, so I changed it. But when I went back to change it, we did the next track. And, uh, Christian was just playing beats. Yeah. And I just told him, like, stop on that one. And then, like, originally, I went first. And I like I did the flow. That's where the whole like surf bitch push. You know what I mean? Like work, it, bitch, work, bitch. bitch. Yeah, you know I mean like that. I had did that first. And then I don't know. Like Christian did the rest. Like he the nigga just made magic. I ain't gonna and then, lie and to then, you. And then Miami, she just did her thing. Man. Yeah, like uh, I ain't even find out. Like I found out a day before the drop, and it wasn't even through Christian. He damn near was about to just surprise me. I was gonna be blown away. Uh, the producer, rest in peace, official. He uh he sent it to me. He like. Nigga, uh, but it must have did the beat. That's what it must have dropped on that. Oh beat. yeah, 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 yeah. Must have did the beat. But uh, official, you know, he just he, he was a part of that camp. Camp, all right, yeah, I got yeah. You, so all they right. all worked together. I got you. But he had hit me up, and he said he, you know, he had a little parts on it. He helped a little bit. So he like, you got a song with the city girl. I'm like, no. I don't know. Like, yeah, what I'm talking like, about like, I ain't know about that. I'm like, no. He like, oh, this nigga sounded just like you. So I get hot. I'm like, oh yeah, send that shit over. Like, nigga, yeah. Was, when I first heard the record, I'm like, oh, this is fire right here. Man, I was. Like, I that thought it was crazy. going like take off more than what it did. It just didn't, and the video was. I, I like the video. Yeah, right? The thing is, I I was just in uh, I was in Queens at uh, the Privilege, the strip club. Oh, you came to, came to Privilege? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What day cool. you was in there? Yesterday, last night. You was in there last night. Mm-hmm. It's fucking around, but I went in there. I was like, I didn't hear him play it once. I was like, damn. Like, well, you know what it is. A, a lot of people don't really they know about it, but it depends on, I guess, the vibe of the club. But that's it goes in the same room as Act Up, yeah, Hot Summer, like all those records. You can play that on along and all that. That's what every all time the ratchet I, stuff. Every time I play that shit in L. A. Anywhere I go, that shit going crazy. That shit is crazy. They man. love it in L. A. For sure. So, um, who who the producers on this project? Rich and Ratchet. Uh, what you got on there? Uh, it's just it's just all in house. I'm I'm just uh, showcasing the homies and you know just showing love to L. A. Just everything in the house. It ain't nothing out of the ordinary. Just like the first run, just getting right. You know, showing that I'm capable of doing it on my own. Yeah. Without no other superstar power and shit like that. Being from L. A. Who are your influences? Uh, influence in L. A. Uh, for sure. Uh, Sugar Free. For sure. Ice Cube. Mm. Um. Uh, Absolutely, Nipsey on you know definitely on the business as right to peace. How did how did the, the Nipsey thing? Let's go oh, with that. How man. did that, that affect you? Like you had a you, did you know Nipsey like that? Uh no no no. But honestly, you hear this from anybody like like Nip was like it don't matter like what stage of career he was in like you always see that nigga like or you would know somebody like you'd be like somebody you know be like yeah I just seen Nipsey like like that was always a thing like I didn't see uh, his brother Black Sam nigga we both walking out the weed shop like yeah. you know what I'm saying like. It, he was just real connected to the community, so the, the shit hit hard. I ain't gonna lie, like, that shit made me make amends with my mans, like, you know what I mean? Because it was, like, unexpected, like. Yeah, you know, because tomorrow ain't promised to none of us. So, that's you know, what I'm saying. You so gotta live every like, day for the day and do what you need to do. Absolutely. So it was, it was a mind blower, though, but for sure. It, it, it 
put the city, it brought the city together as well as it hit. You know what I mean? That's so, good. So the Sean Line Mafia, like, how did that come about? Oh my God, I love them. Uh, we just got the same managers and um, shit. We all LA. We got a lot of the same common friends. Like everybody know each other. Like Shoreline, me, uh, O Three Greedo, Draco. Like we all just tied in. So we was already mutual. But um, Phoenix from Shoreline, they was on tour, and he actually told our current manager that like he was fucking with me, like yeah. my project before this. Uh huh. So they just brought us in, gave us a run, and shit. We just like. You know, it was a good bond, so we've just been fucking around ever since. I see you can't go wrong with that. I want you to introduce another record off the project. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, let's get into something off that project real quick. Let's get into uh, Wild and produced by my man, Marvel Man. We let AZ take over the weekend work. Saturday morning. 88 Shade 45, AZ still in the building with us. Yes, sir. AZ what? AZ? AZ Chike. AZ Chike, because yes, we got to get the name right. People got to understand. They got to get that name right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? They got to remember that. It's going to be hard for everybody. I ain't worried about it. I'm so you got to. you got any tours coming up? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, It's just a West Coast tour. We we, we right now, the uh, the uh, the East Coast and the South, we're going to do like later in October with Shoreline. Yeah. Excuse my bad, but we're on the West Coast right now. A few days, uh, me and my boy One Take J starting at uh, Rolling Loud Bay Area, so that shit gonna be crazy as fuck. How do you feel like the West? How you feel like? How you feel right now? Like the West Coast is really making a lot of noise. Like you got you, you YG. Yeah, it's like it's like a lot going on. Like how do you feel right now? Like it's making an impact in music right now. Nah, I, I feel like like this is only the beginning. We just we were just in in the green room. We just heard a dude from Philly rapping on the LA beat. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like it's, I feel like it's gonna spread enough because I don't know. I feel like it. it Everybody can get used to it, you know what I mean? And I made sure of that when I did the surf record. Like, mm-hmm. that's why the shit blew my mind so much because it's like Young Miami and T Grizzly, like, and the shit hitting, like, you know what I mean? Everywhere. I feel like right now, it's like, you no, know, I know, I don't remember before, it used to be like different parts of this US have it, like the New mm-hmm. Yorker have it, then Atlanta, then the West Coast. Now I feel like everybody had the way the internet is, everybody Facts. has a shot right now. Like, it's just wide open. Everybody's just making noise. It's like, it ain't just one place no more. That's about, I ain't even thought about it like that. That's a fact. Now though. you gotta think like, cause the wet yo know, mustard mm-hmm. and that sound, and then you know YG, mm-hmm. you know, everybody like they really bust the doors open yeah, in 2013, sure. 12 and 13, like really made mm-hmm. it an uh, impact for the West Coast. Yeah, for sure. I I I, I feel like it is now. It should it should be like more of a like you know a welcome thing. Like you know yeah. what I mean? It's it's still certain places like we go and we be like hell no, they not fucking with the West Coast shit. Like, you know what I mean? Or yeah. they ain't came across it yet. Like, I feel like now, like, like with people like Roddy Rich, like, he West Coast, he may not do, like, so much of a West Coast beat, but he's still West Coast. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? So, like, definitely with, like, him and then, like, Blueface, he all the way you West see? Coast. I forgot about those two, yeah, but yeah. I'm trying to them, see. But you see how it balances itself out, with. though. You're yeah. coming up with them like yeah. it's a whole new generation from the West that's uh-huh. making a lot of noise. Yeah, that's why I like it. And, and you know what? It's never been this many like young niggas coming out. At of, the same like, time. Yeah, it's never been. When it was YG and Mustard, that was like probably like, it was cool, but it was just really it like was just them. them. It was like, them. It wasn't was really going nothing crazy. else Yeah. Because I know oh, 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 RJ, mm-hmm. the RJ, I, I, it's, it's a lot of people yeah, that was Yeah, he was a little after, after them, Yeah, too. he was after them. Yeah, because they, they took them took him under their wing and they was going crazy. So he was a little after. Like when YG and Mustard did it, it was just like them two. The last time it was something like this, and I'm not even trying to over-exaggerate, is when nigga, it was like fresh Tupac, Fresh Snoop, Snoop? Dad, oh, yeah. DPG, da- Daz and the whole Daz dog and pound, corrupt, corrupt, and yeah. nigga, it was still a little bit of NWA. We had Lynch Mob, and you know what I mean. It was yeah, a, lot a lot going, going on, on in at LA. That time, yeah, that's the last time I could really remember. Like it was something like like all LA need to do artists at this point. We just need to capitalize and really take. it. Well, back. y'all capitalizing right now. When you at home, where you party at out there? Oh man. <laughs> My crib after hours at the apartment. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I've been partying since my birthday, July 28th, because what, I came what? here. Huh? Your birthday when? My birthday was July 28th. I just stopped partying. That's my birthday. Swear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leo's in Leo's the building. In the building yes, man. Sir. That's why I stopped you. Like, huh? <laughs> that's, why, that's why the vibe's so good, man. Yeah, Leo. He's out with the Leo gang, baby. Yeah, man. Coach going to be tight. You know, we run this, you know, Leo run this shit. Yeah, yeah. Nice kings in this motherfucker. Word, you know man. Saying? Run the jungle, man. Yeah, but I was partying since then. Yeah, not, not on no, like, because, like, I don't be home like, that either I'm touring so I was just in LA a lot just showing my people's love and then so happened everything after that I had like four homies birthdays in August so like we were just going stupid all month like it was just crazy yeah I've been to Sammy's before man that's like y'all started out there you said, my bad. You said Sam's. Sammy's. Yeah, yeah, Sam's. Yeah, yeah, I said yeah. Sam's. Sam's. Sam's yeah. Yeah. I said no, Sammy's I, I live down the street from Sam's I fuck right? with Sam's I don't like 
uh, uh, Sam's after hours though. You know, because they, they, they make you they make you bring your you bring your liquor in there and you, and you yeah. bring your own brown yeah. bag. I just be like, I need I need to see some good. You know what I mean? Some good a little shaking in this motherfucker. That's it. But Sam's. You, you, you ever been to Deja Vu? No, I ain't never been to Deja Vu. Deja Vu go up too. They be having all the little bitches that, you know, be from other states flying out. Flying trying out, to, coming yeah. in, trying to make their way in there. Yeah, What I about like GS Lounge? You fuck with GS Lounge? No, nah, I don't think I've been there yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's over there by the airport, man. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I ain't been there in my stomach grounds. I ain't been there yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to, though. Well, AZ, we definitely appreciate you getting up early in the morning, hanging out hey, with man. us, man. Give the people your social media. Oh, man. AZ Chike, everything, Twitter, Instagram, Apple, whatever. A-Z-C-H-I-K-E. And that Rich and Ratchet is out right now. Right now on everything you can find Name or on. listen to. Everything. It's the weekend work. Appreciate you coming through with us, man. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me. All right.